Hello guys, we will see the last major pillar of object oriented programming which is polymorphism in this video. Now polymorphism is defined as different response to the same command. So command will be same but response will differ depending on what is the object. So you can take the example of switchboard to understand the polymorphism. On switchboard there are different switches and you can give only two commands. One is switch on command, other one is switch off command. So the response will differ depending on what is the object. If I say switch on to the tube light, then it will get illuminated. If I say switch on to the fan, then it will get rotated. So depending on what is the object, response will differ. The word is polymorphism. Polymorphism itself says that many behaviors. Poly means many and morphism means behaviors. So the word itself means many behaviors to the same command. So in C++ we implement polymorphism using virtual functions. So now how to implement virtual functions? So we'll see that with example. In the last video we have seen that in C++ only upcasting is supported. That means base class pointer can hold the address of derived class object. So suppose I take base class pointer which is employee pointer EPTR and I am taking one derived class object which is WE1 and I assign the address of WE1 to EPTR. So EPTR equals to ampersand WE1 I write and after that I say EPTR arrow I call the function. So uh, right now I have only display function apart from constructors. So I am calling the display function. So what I have done base class pointer is there, DR class object is there, address of DR class object is inside the base class pointer and I am calling the display function. Now which display function it will call if I run this let me compile and let me run so it is calling which display function it is displaying only id name and salary so it is calling the employee display function and not the wage employee display function so if you debug this suppose if i write hyphen g here then jdb dot slash emp then at this statement you will see that at statement eptr arrow display it is going inside the display function of employee class so you will see it over here so it is not going inside the display function of wage employee this is because right now compiler is binding function call with function definition depending on type of pointer so compiler will only look what is the data type of that eptr it is of employee kind so it will associate the function call with employee display function definition so this thing is called as early binding so there are words this thing is either called as static binding or compile time binding or early binding since it is dependent on to the type of pointer it is not looking what object is there inside the eptr now what i want I, the function call should dependent on the type of object that pointer is holding so suppose if you have some huge hierarchy employees there wage employees there then again below that manager class may be there or some other type of employee will be there so depending on generic point uh, uh, i mean if you have some generic pointer the function call should dependent on actual object which is inside that pointer so that thing we can implement using virtual functions so if i if i want this thing to happen like the other thing is called as dynamic binding so if it is dependent on actual object then it is called as dynamic binding or it is called as runtime binding or it is called as late binding so this late binding can be achieved using virtual functions so what i will do if i want to call the appropriate display function depending on to the object then i will go to the base most class declaration so employee is a base most class and in front of that display function i will write keyword which is virtual keyword so virtual here so when I do that, now again let me compile.
now you will see that it is calling the wage employees display it is also displaying hours and rate so if you debug it here then at this statement it is going inside the wage employee display function so runtime binding or late binding is taking place so this is what its virtual function is implementation of virtual function is very easy you will go to the base most class declaration and in front of that function for which you want late binding to happen you will declare keyword you will write keyword virtual so it is easy for us to implement virtual function but when i declare function as virtual function then for compiler it is it uh, it becomes complex compiler has to follow some complex mechanism to call the appropriate function depending on the object so that mechanism we will see later in some other video but as of now you should understand how to declare a function virtual so it, it is it is coming under the polymorphism topic because this function call will be same so when i say eptr arrow display now the command will be same so the response will be different for the same command depending on what is the object inside this eptr so if this eptr is holding the employee object it will call employee display function if eptr is holding the wage employee object it will call the wage employee display function so command will be same which is eptr arrow display but response will be different so different response to the same command so that's why this thing is called as polymorphism in c++ so this was about the virtual functions please like the video and do subscribe to my channel i will see you again in next video